Phosphor.fans, fans, Earl at the logbook.com, back here celebrating 30 years of the Nintendo Game Boy, if you can believe that. Nintendo Game Boy was probably, I'm pretty sure it's the only video game unit, only video game console that I ever, you know, I consider it a console and not a handheld because describing it as a handheld kind of puts it in the same category with the uh, like the old Coleco mini arcade which played one game. I class the Game Boy as a console since it has cartridges and is therefore programmable. And it was probably the only game system that I have ever bought within a week of the release date. I was working in radio at the time so I was making somewhat decent money and one of the things that I got with that money was a Nintendo Game Boy and uh, accumulated a few of the early games as well and so going through the uh, the early Game Boy library I'll focus on some favorites from very early in the system's history and uh just so happens that one of those is, believe it or not, a sports title, which is a little bit unusual for me. It's Nintendo's own baseball cartridge, and this really is one corner of my holy trinity of video baseball games that I actually like. Now, one of the other games in that category is also by Nintendo, and it happens to be the baseball part of Wii Sports, which I realize is really more like, you know, pitching and batting practice than the actual full game of baseball. The Game Boy cartridge gives you the full game of baseball, and the other the other baseball game that I, the only other baseball video game that I truly love is, of course, baseball on the Odyssey 2. So, that being said, let's uh, get our game started here. I always want to uh, defer to USA mode on this one. I'm, I actually can't remember what the difference is. Maybe we'll have to go back and find out. Now, for a fairly simple game on a system that isn't exactly overrunning with memory, there's a lot of nuance to Game Boy Baseball. And I'm out. Well... miles an hour. Good grief. Okay, so I have the Terminator on the pitching mound here. Just probably not even for bat. <laughs> okay, that'll, that'll work. I'm not going to push my luck trying to run to second. Now, when you are playing the pitching side, you don't really have a lot of granular control over your outfielders, where they're going, and so on. Now, so, uh, that was a homer. 
you do have more granular control over the pitch. Please tell me how fielders waiting to catch this one. Thank you. say I was working in radio whenever I purchased my Game Boy. Um, maybe I shouldn't fess up to this. It actually went to work with me many a time, like every weekend. At the time I was working a sign-on shift that stretched into the early afternoon. Saturday, and I was working this hellacious shift on Sunday that went from sign on until about three or four in the afternoon, if I remember correctly. And sometimes it was really down to yeah, whatever the guy on the next shift felt like showing up. It's kind of an occupational hazard of. Oh, no, they're not. Got you, computer. Okay. So the score is still 1 to 0. Let's see if we can change that. Ah. swing, but I'll take it. It just has to connect with the ball. It's my second out, isn't it? You kind of have to keep a careful eye on the computer picture, and you can pick up some important cues about is going to uh, try to do with the ball. How he's going to try to slip one past you. Ah. I was so close to having the bases loaded. there and hang on to it. Yeah, what the heck? Why not? And it goes to Skylab. Oh, it's out. I thought it was going to be a foul there. Okay. Let's 
someone catch that thing? Seriously? He just fired it off to Tennessee. Okay, so now I'm down 0-3. Hey, you know, I... You show up to watch me play games, perhaps not play games, but I'll just play. <laughs> Boom. I'll take it. Baseball is actually far from my favorite sport. I know, it's supposed to be the great American pastimes, like every kid who's grown up in this country is expected to love it. <laughs> okay, let's. <laughs> no. Well, this is a wasted inning. But, uh, you know, as far as ever actually playing it in real life, I just. I tried. <laughs> you know, like any other blood American kid child of the 70s. Get out there and try. Problem was, I just wasn't very coordinated. I'm still not. As my attempts to play, uh, <laughs> as as chip, uh, are <laughs> now demonstrating. Yeah, anytime you guys want to get out there and catch that, yeah, thanks. I got to second. As you can see by little indicator down in the corner. Oh, seriously? I'm gonna have a guy on third? Oh, good. Lost his nerve. That's what I like about the, uh, about the Game Boy baseball cartridge, is, you know, you can try to steal bases, the uh, computer will try to steal base. But. There is some chance in play there. And. Oh, good. Boom. Bye. Okay. Obviously, I'm not trying hard enough to... Just completely stymie them. Bad. Great, I'm gonna have another one on third. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have another one on third. Catch that sucker. Do not be a homer. I'll take it. I 
see if I can get the bases loaded. Probably not, but what the heck, I'll try. Dude. already on first, not advance. Okay, that's a new one on me. I don't think I've ever seen it do that. See, he did it that time. Okay. Well, alrighty then. If I'd let that go, that would have been a ball. And that is a stinky, stinky foul ball. And this one isn't going to do me any favors either. Yeah, bye. Oh? Okay. Well, not bases loaded, but... Somewhat close, maybe? Ow. Yeah. <sighs> well... Up. 
<laughs> I've only got one. A homer would be good here. Now that's not what's going to happen, but yeah, it would be really good here. I'm just saying, in theory, homer would be uh, very good. Very, very good. it takes a little bit of time to uh, to play out a full game of baseball on the Game Boy. Oh, would you guys get it? Sign on shift meant that I had to get up at 4.30 and be there before 5. Really? Fun fact, I was better at radio than I was at baseball. Even the digital version. Anything can happen. You can have a spectacularly good game, a spectacularly bad game, and this is not a spectacularly good game. Um, what I'm talking about in terms of my playing, not in terms of the game itself. Um, so it was very unpredictable. That made it entertaining. later. Alright. Dude! You're killing me, small.
No, you don't say. <laughs> I was really hoping for a better game than this to be happening. <laughs> the bottom of the six, I mean. <laughs> but there you have it. Seventh, can I turn this around? No, but it's fun to try. There's somebody who can catch that, isn't there? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. As you can see, it's a very typical. Very typical of the 90s, I'm kicking back playing Game Boy, weather channels on. There's the Porg. Okay, obviously that's not from the 90s, but uh, bear with me. You know, I would take a homer with just two bases. I would be happy to. But hey, if you want to let me get the bases loaded... And I have only one out, let's do this. <sighs> Thank you, Bruno the Dancing Fish. So, uh, yeah, unlike, unlike Wii Sports Baseball, there is no mercy rule here. Well, I mean, you do have the, the ultimate mercy rule in the form of the off switch, but that would hardly be sporting. that, but okay. <sighs> no soup for you. Time it took that ball to get there and be enough safe. Oh, Nintendo. 
Nintendo. Also, they still get one in. Okay, that's, uh... Well, yeah, I guess I had to make a choice there if I was going to get the man out at first or try to get him out at home. So, there you have it. Baseball and Nintendo Game Boy, the great American pastime, reduced to zeros and ones. I like it. <laughs>